Welcome again right now at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. Faith, the doctrine of the Old Testament. Paul says, but having the same spirit of faith, the same spirit of faith, according to that which is written, according to what is written in the New Testament? No. In the Old Testament, Psalms 116, verse 10, I believed and therefore I spoke. Paul always anchored all of his doctrine in so-called Old Testament scripture. The entire so-called New Testament is built on top of the so-called Old Testament. If you don't know, I mean, no, I mean, really, really, really know your Old Testament, then you cannot properly interpret the New Testament. The doctrine of faith is not a New Testament doctrine. The doctrine of righteousness by faith is not a New Testament doctrine. It all comes from Torah. We also believe and therefore we also speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that by grace, being multiplied through the many, may cause the thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore, we don't faint. But though our outward person is decaying, in other words, our physical bodies are growing older, is breaking down, yet our inward person is renewed day by day. If your inward person, if your spiritual condition is not renewed day by day, if you are not further now in your spiritual walk than you were yesterday, you're backslidden. You need to repent. You need to grow every single day. If there's no growth, stop, reassess. Something is wrong. You need to grow spiritually every day in the knowledge of God, in the knowledge of the scriptures, in your relationship with God. You need to grow every day. For our light affliction, notice he says light affliction. Think about how much affliction Paul has experienced in his life. A lot of Christians would not even make it as far as he did, as far as being afflicted. And he just says, oh, our light affliction, it's light affliction. Which is for the moment, works for us more and more exceedingly an eternal weight of glory. The glory of God, the true glory of God is weighty. If you experience the glory of God, if the glory of God is revealed to you, you will find it is very heavy. While we don't look at things which are seen, that is physically seen, but at things which are not seen by faith. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Even science would tell you today that we only see but just a very fraction of what is really there in the world. We only see just a, bare, a very fraction of the magnetic spectrum of light. We only see a little bit of it. And what we see is temporal. It is here today and gone tomorrow, so to speak. Think about that for a minute. Everything you see right now will one day turn to dust. Everything you see right now. Everything you see with your physical eyes, that is. Everything you see today, tomorrow, everything you saw in the past will one day turn to dust. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Don't you want to focus on what is not seen more than what is seen? I think it would be a very wise thing to do. And it's also very wise to seek him. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will just blow you away. He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.